This tutorial is intended to support primary care providers by offering guidance on preparing patients for specimen collection, the proper use of personal protective equipment by providers, and the administration of COVID-19 nasal swab specimen collection. Prior to specimen collection, it is important to prepare patients for the mild, temporary discomfort of the process. Inform patients that insertion of the swab into both nostrils may cause them to gag, cough, sneeze, or tear up. Let them know these are normal reactions and that the procedure should be over in one minute or less to help put them at ease. Before entering the examination room to collect the specimen, start by thoroughly washing your hands. Then don PPE based on appropriate clinical and safety guidelines as well as the condition of the patient. Place a medical mask on the face so that it covers the mouth, nose, and chin and is secure to the face. Apply a medical gown if necessary. Then place gloves on hands, ensuring that they cover the wrists and are placed on top of medical gown sleeves if applicable. Place safety glasses or a face shield on to protect the eyes and ensure they are snugly secured. Advise the patient that you will collect the specimen momentarily. As needed, remind the patient that the procedure may cause them temporary discomfort but will last only a few moments. Unwrap the swab, being careful not to contaminate its tip. The patient should be seated in an upright position. Ask the patient to tilt their head back to enable insertion of the swab at the proper depth to collect the specimen. Tilt the patient's head back 70 degrees. While gently rotating the swab, insert the swab less than one inch, about two centimeters, into the nostril until resistance is met at the turbinates. Rotate the swab several times against the nasal wall and repeat the process in the other nostril using the same swab. Break off the swab at the indicator lines. Once the specimen has been collected, remove the cap from the culture tube and place the swab into the tube with the cultured end inserted first. Close the tube tightly and label the container in the presence of the patient. If you don't have a breakaway swab, substitute it for a common swab. After specimen collection, insert the swab into the culture tube. Then twist and fold the protruding end of the swab to break off excess material. Then place the collected sample into a labeled biohazard bag and, depending on the protocols at your practice, transfer it to a team member outside of the testing area. When bagging the culture tube, there are a few options to avoid contaminating the specimen collection bag. One is a two-person method involving someone other than the clinician who collected the specimen, holding and sealing the bag and removing it from the examination room. The second person should be wearing a mask and gloves. When the person who collected the specimen also bags it, the exterior of the sealed biohazard bag should be cleaned with a disinfectant wipe prior to handoff. After completing those steps, remove PPE in a private area, dispose of it, and thoroughly wash your hands. After this step, wash your hands. After this step, wash your hands. Visit the link on screen for tips and best practices on cleaning the procedure room after a nasal swab procedure is conducted.